Fifth grade, lesson 48. This is on reading and writing whole numbers in expanded notation. Have you ever heard about expanded notation yet? No, I don't okay. think. So let me kind of quickly review what expanded notation is. Okay, so let's just say the number 356. Okay. Okay. Um, what place is this in? The ones place? Mm -hmm. Tens, hundreds. Okay. Now, if I were to write this in expanded notation, I'm going to expand things. So, okay. what I'm, I want you to watch how I do this. I'm going to say three, the first number that I see, and then I'm going to times it by what place value that is. Do you remember doing this? Yes. What place is this in? Uh, the hundreds. Okay. So, watch this. And then I put it in parentheses. Now, uh -huh. tell me. What is three times a hundred? Three hundred. Yeah. Which does that show that that's three hundred right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're expanding it, making it very clear what that means to a person that doesn't know. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Then we're gonna add the next number. Okay? okay. So we'll say five since we're working with five times, and then what place is that one in? Fifty. No. I mean, one hundred. That tens. Yes, you're saying the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we would finish it off. So what is five times ten? Fifty. Does that five indicate fifty in here? Um. Yeah. Yes. Because three hundred fifty six. You get it? Uh huh. So if I were to have ten dollar bills, I would have five of them to make fifty dollars right here. Uh huh. Get it? All right. Now we're gonna add and do the last one. So I'm gonna put a six times. What place is that in? One. One. Is six times one six? Yes. And that's the answer. So it's basically showing you the value, how much each of these numbers is worth. Mm -hmm. This one is worth 300. This one is worth 50. And this is worth six. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Ready? We're going to try another one. Okay, you do this one with me. Write five, six, zero, zero on your paper. Okay? Now, let's start with this one. You always start from left to right when you're doing expanded notation. So, what number am I going to write first? Um, uh, 5,000. 5. And what uh, do, what place is it in? Let's try. This is 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000s. So, what am I going to write right here? 1,000. 1,000. Right. 5 times 1,000 equals 5,000, which is this is how much this is worth. Because I'll say 5,600. See that? Yeah. All right, so we're done with that one. Now let's do the next one. Uh, six. Six times, and what place is this 100. in? 100. 100. Okay, six times 100 is 600, and that's what that six stands for, 600. What do I do with my zeros? Just zero. Nothing. Zeros. I don't even have to do it. zero times 10, zero times nothing, because zero times whatever equals zero. Yeah. That? So that's my answer right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't you write that down on your paper? Okay. So that you'll remember it. 5,600, right? Uh huh. Okay. All right, but make sure you're writing it like this, Eli. Like five times a thousand. Okay. Plus six times a hundred. You're doing it right. One thousand. Very good. All right. We're going to do another one. Ready? I'll let you do this one on your paper first. Okay. We'll go over it, and then I'll let you write it on your paper. Woo! Big <coughs> number. Okay? So let's do our place values real quick. Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, billions? No, no, no. Remember, everything's grouped in threes. So this is the ones group. Ones, tens, hundreds. Okay? Then this is the thousands group. So thousand. Oh. And then remember how it goes. Ten, Ten thousand. Thousand. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Now, 
since this one's a bigger number, I just realized this, 100,000. Since this is a bigger number, I'm actually going to write it out. So you write it out with me, okay? So we'll start with the 7, and then we'll do it times something. Now, what place is 7 in? I kind of can't read it. 1,000, uh, 10,000, 100,000. 100, so what you're going to write is 100,000. Okay, big, big number. 100,000, <coughs> okay. Put it in parentheses. Mm -hmm, very good. Then we're going to add plus. Now do your 5 times. Put it in parentheses. And then what place is this in? 10,000. So you're going to write 10,000. Now it's 10, a little bit harder. Because they're such big numbers. Okay? And what do I do with these zeros? Nothing. Nothing. But what if it ended with a 5? What would I do? I would skip the rest of these zeros, and then I would do the last one. So I'm going to do a plus. Plus. Okay. And I'm going to do a five, five times, and what place is five in? One. One. Okay. And you did it exactly right. So these zeros, you're kind of just going to erase. You're going to pretend like they're not there. Okay? Okay. Feel like you understand? Yeah. All right. Last one. This time I'm going to put a number in expanded form, and you're going to write it in normal standard form. For example, watch this. Write that? Yes. Write that okay. down, and then I want you to write it into a normal number. Okay. Parentheses two. Uh -huh. Two times one. Then I write it a normal number. Yeah. What would this be as a normal number? We're doing it backwards. Three hundred. Two. Uh huh. So, so tell me what, what it would look like. It'd just be three zero two. Very good. He's exactly right. Three zero two. Why is there a zero right there? Because you wouldn't put like. The three zero zero two that'd be three thousand. Right, you're exactly right. So because there was no ten here, we had the ones place. We didn't have a tens here, so there's a zero. So there's just the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. We had a hundred spot. We had a one spot, but there was no tens spot. You see how I missed that? Uh huh. Uh huh. But you did it exactly right. Good job. Okay. That is lesson forty eight.